Hey everybody, um, I'm sorry, I'm kind of dressed up. I dressed up for something else today, but um, I wanted to come here because um, people were talking about how everybody's out of, with this this little CV problem we're having now across the world. Um, that everybody's out of bleach and they're panicking. You know how everybody panics if they're not prepping already. Um, so I'm out, everybody's out of bleach. I'm out of bleach. Well, uh, there are a couple of alternatives for disinfectants. And you won't find them at your Walmart, most likely. Um, where you will find them is at your pet supply online, Amazon. Um, and it's things that I keep around here normally because I keep chickens. Um, one is Oxine AH. Oxine is, um, is chlorine dioxide 2%. That's what it is. Um, now, there's two forms of Oxine. Oxine AH comes in a gallon jug. Um, I think that is the only way you can order it that I know of. You may, they may have crystals or something. I don't know. But I order, always order the gallon jug. And it's highly concentrated. Um, and I have used it in the past to uh, combat fungal infections in chickens. I had one bad summer. We had several groups. It was very hot and very dry, and I ran water into their pens. And something in the area released some spores, and a, and a couple of my groups breathed in spores, and they got this coffee pot breathing. It's not contagious. It's fungal. And um, in researching, I found that oxine, misting with oxine, to have them breathe that in, the bronchial passages and in their sinuses can fight the fungus and kill the spores. So I got oxine and I put it in a vaporizer and I misted these birds in a confined space two or three times a day. I don't remember. This was years ago. And it cured the fungal infection. And it's not a contagion. It's not, you know, it's not contagious bird to bird. It's just they all breathed in these spores. Well, Oxine AH kicked that out. And um, nebulization is an off-label use for Oxine. But a lot of poultry keepers, like me, know that it works. Um, now, Oxine AH uh, is an agent against, let me read these, Avian influenza A, PPR, P, uh, PRRS virus, pseudo rabies virus, canine parvo, Coxsackie virus, Newcastle disease, Staphylococcus, Streptococcus, swine ves vesicular disease, African swine fever, foot and mouth disease, Salmonella, E. coli, fungal, and mycobacterium. Um, depending on who you read, oxine is many times more effective than bleach at killing some of these things. So, and it's it, it basically, if you let it break down in a solution, it ends up being breaking down to like table salt. It's not scary. It's not unsafe around people. Um, let me see here. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> um, people use it in sprayers and foggers. Um, you can put it in a spray bottle. Um, it says if you want to nebulize or put in a vaporizer, you mix two and a half teaspoons of non-activated oxane. Now, there's the activated thing. The, to really disinfect poultry houses, they take citric acid and they, as an activator and put it with the oxane AH. You do not want to use it that way. That makes it extremely toxic for you to breathe in. That is not the way you want to use it. That's an extreme disinfection without any animals or humans present. This is the non-activated Oxine AH. Um, you, in a vaporizer, you mix two and a half teaspoons of non-activated Oxine in a cup of water. Um, that's, that says this is enough about for um, four 15-minute sessions of, in a humidifier uh, or put in a, a spray bottle treatment for a few chickens. So, um, and you can actually spray you can mist it in their faces. This is safe. You can actually put an eighth of a teaspoon of oxine in a gallon of water that they are drinking. Um, but all this is to say that this is a good sanitizer to use around your own house. Okay? Now, that is one alternative to bleach, which is actually kills, it kills more than bleach does. But it says it's known to kill every bacteria, virus, and mold it has ever been tested against. 
and somebody said it was 200 times more effective than chlorine bleach. I don't know if it's 200 times, but they say it's more effective than bleach. Okay, second disinfectant. Well, another one that I keep here is the Vircon S, V-I-R-K-O-N-S. Um, it come, it's a viricide, a disinfectant and a viricide. It comes in a bottle with uh, 50 tablets, or you can get in a 10-pound tub. The 50 tablet thing, each tablet makes about 16 ounces dissolved in water. I usually take a spray bottle, I mix, put a tablet in 16 ounces of water, let it dissolve real, all the way, and I use it for, to spray surfaces with in my poultry house, in my, in my chicken coop. Um, now, those tablets are extremely concentrated. When you open a bottle, you don't want to breathe it in. You want to, and you, and you don't want it to get on your fingers and burn you, because the, the concentrate's extremely concentrated. Take a tablet out, stick it in your bottle, fill it up with water, the 16 ounces, um, and use it to spray surfaces with after that's dissolved. Um, a 50 tablet bottle can cost anywhere from $20 to $30, depending on where you get it. Now, it's available at QC Supply, Revival Animal Health. You can even get them on Amazon. I think you pay more on Amazon, probably, because you're going through some of these other places, and they're a middleman. Um, but the active ingredients in Vercon is are potassium. <coughs> excuse me. I can't speak. I had, did another video about it. And I, <coughs> I'm losing my voice. The active ingredients in Vercon, potassium, peroxymonosulfate at 21.41% and sodium chloride. Okay, now the 10 pound tub of Vercon is going to cost you about 70 bucks. It's just a lot of Vercon. But if you get the powder, all you do is mix like 1.3 ounces of the powder to a gallon of warm water for a 1% solution. It stays stable for seven days after it's mixed. It can be applied with sprayers, foggers, and misters. A gallon of solution will treat about 135 square feet. Um, without the presence of animals. And, you know, when you're treating something like that, misting, you want everybody out of there until the mist settles, okay? But, um, there you go. There are two disinfectants that you can use in your house. I would say for in your own house, I would say the Oxine. I would rather use the Oxine myself than the Vercon. Um, but, um, Vercon Solution. I have used Vercon Solution in a bottle for people to spray their shoes when they come to my house. Um, if they're going to go anywhere to the barns, I want them to spray their shoes so they don't track disease into my barn. Or track it back out, even though I don't have any disease in my flock. But, um, so Oxine AH, I always keep Oxine around here. I think it costs about 30, 25 or $30 for the gallon, but it's very concentrated. Um, like I said, an eighth of a teaspoon in a gallon of water, and they can drink it. Uh, chickens can drink it. So, actually, you can use it to uh, purify water, your own water, your own bottled water. So you get two liter bottles and you're filling them up with water. Put a couple, you know, a few drops in there and to store your water. You can do that with Oxane. It's not going to hurt you. But those are just alternatives to bleach I wanted to mention in all this big scare right now. Um, so that was what I wanted to say today. And, uh, you know, people are talking about bleach being gone. I just went to Dollar General today and they have all kinds of bleach. Um, but I didn't get any. I have a gallon of bleach, but I also have Oxine and I have Vercon. So I've got uh, quite a bit of disinfectant at home. And Lysol. Lysol in the spray can. Lysol wipes. You know, I've got all that kind of stuff. So um, those are just two alternatives. Uh, so anyway, it's very cold and very rainy, and I'm going back in the house. And uh, have a great day, everybody.